Along with the half steps and chromatic scale, we also have the whole steps and the whole tone scale. Whole steps, you could probably figure out on your own, but if we take C for instance, and we make two half steps, two half steps do in fact equal a whole step. So we go from C, we technically skip the first half step, C sharp, and go all the way up to D to make a whole step. Notice we've skipped one of those notes, all right? One of those chromatic notes to get to the whole step. Same thing here, D, we skip D sharp, to get to E, skipping that first half step to create the whole step. So if we were to play two consecutive whole steps or three notes, we would play C to D to E. From here, you'll notice we have F, but there's nothing in between them. So that is only a half step. So we have to take another half step up from F, getting us up to F sharp. So E to F sharp is another whole step. From here, we have F sharp, we have G in between, so that's the half step, all the way up to G sharp, making the whole step, F sharp to G sharp, and then G sharp up to A sharp. And then finally, A sharp, we take a whole step, we skip B, going all the way up to C. So, Whenever we play the whole steps from C to C or any note to any note, that would be the whole tone scale. In this instance, it would be the C whole tone scale. We play C, we take a whole step, a whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and C. You'll notice the pattern you kind of see with this is three on the bottom, aka three white keys, and then three on the top, three black keys, and then you hit C again, like this. We'll do it four per note. One, two, four per note. I'm just using one hand. One, two, ready, go. Do it again, this time two per note, whole tone scale, whole steps, one, two, ready, go. And finally, one per note. Two, ready, and. Now, cool thing about the whole tone scale. Let's say I start that on, instead of C, E. You'll notice I take my first whole step I'm on F sharp, we hit F sharp earlier. I take a whole step, we're on G sharp, we hit G sharp earlier. Whole step, A sharp, we hit A sharp earlier. Whole step, C, whole step D, whole step E. We've already hit all of these notes, we just happen to start on a different note in this case because the whole tone scale, it happens to relate amongst several notes. If we start on any of the notes that we played within that, we're gonna end up hitting the same notes just in a slightly different pattern starting off of another one. So for instance, like this. Or here. So regardless, when we take those whole tone scales, 
you're always thinking about these three on the top, three on the bottom, if we start from C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, or A sharp. Now, the one way we can switch it is instead of starting on C, let's say we start on C sharp. This changes things up, but once we've learned this pattern, you technically know your two possible ways of playing whole tone scales. So we'll start on C sharp. We'll take a whole step to D sharp, a whole step to F. Notice I skipped E in there. Okay, a whole step from F up to G, whole step up from G to A, whole step from A to B, and then a whole step from B up to C sharp again. So four per note, this time starting on C sharp, the pattern does change, but again, if you know it on C sharp, D sharp, F, G, A, B, or C sharp, if you can start and recognize that pattern, you could start on any of those notes and it would end up being the same pattern. Here we go. C sharp, two, re, D, and. down and then technically we could cut that down to two and then one so we had our whole tone scale that starts on C and that gives us that pattern that kind of, we see the shape of three on bottom, three on top. And then we have the whole tone scale where we could start on C sharp, which offsets everything. And we have a different shape going on. But once you know those two, you technically know how to play those whole steps and that whole tone scale. Happy practicing.